Australia is a land of dreams. From the coral reefs, rainforests, and scorched red deserts to armchair travelers who describe Australia as their dream destination. The world's smallest continent and largest island, Australia is almost the same size as the United States, but with a population the size of New York State and with some of the rare wildlife on the planet. Australia is also a land of spectacular beauty. Along the coast, you can explore vibrant multicultural cities, vast sand islands, ancient rainforests, and one of the planet's most awe-inspiring natural wonders. Top of it all is the friendly people, and it's no wonder Australia's coast top building on bucket lists around the world. Number 14. Cradle Mountain Lakes and Clay National Park Cradle Mountain Lakes and Clay National Park is a national tourism treasure and a heaven for nature lovers. Sparkling lakes and dense forests characterize the raw, glacier-carved wilderness here and Mount Ozark is one of the park's most distinctive features and the highest point in Tasmania. As you might expect, hiking here is fantastic. Stand on the summit of Cradle Mountain and you can soak up stunning views of the central highlights. Experienced hikers can also tackle the famous 80km overland track. Keep an eye out for the Tasmanian devils, wombats, wallabies, padmelons, and platypus among the many species of wonderful wildlife. Number 13. Kangaroo Island Nature takes center stage at beautiful Kangaroo Island off the Fluria Peninsula in South Australia. Kangaroos hop along the powdery shores, sea lions and penguins frolic in the crystal clear water, and koalas cling to the fragrant eucalyptus trees. Diving is also excellent. You can spot sea dragons in the temperate waters and many wrecks slice offshore. The striking wind sculpt rock formations, known as the Remarkable Rocks and Admiral's Arch in Flinders Chase National Park, are other distinctive features of the island. For these two, will be in heaven. Creamy cheeses, Ligurian honey, and fresh seafood grace the place in the local restaurants. Number 12 Rome and the Kimberley Region. Once the pearl capital of the world, Broome in Western Australia is now a booming tourist town and the gateway to the spectacular Kimberley region. Its star tourist attraction, Cable Beach, with seemingly endless white sands and turquoise water, is one of Australia's best beaches. And riding camels at sunset is one of the most popular things to do here. Other highlights include the staircase to the moon, a phenomenon during certain conditions between March and October, where the moonlight creates an optical illusion of steps leading to the moon. From Rome, you can explore the rugged and remote Kimberley region and its incredible natural attractions. Number 11. Great Ocean Road Most top tourist destinations have spectacular driving routes. And for Australia, one of its best is the Great Ocean Road. The road stretches for 300 kilometers along Australia's southeast coast, from the surfing town of Torquay to the town of Allensford in the state of Victoria. The top attractions along the road is Port Campbell National Park, with the wind and wave sculptured rock formations known as the Twelve Apostles, London Bridge, the Ark, and Lock Art Gorge. From a helicopter too, these two formations look like a giant puzzle pieces lashed by pounding surf of the southern ocean. Other highlights along the road include the popular holiday resort town of Lawn and Ordway National Park, an area of dense eucalyptus forests, fern filled rainforests, hiking trails, and waterfalls. Number 10 Kakadu National Park. Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory is a World Heritage Site and one of the planet's great wilderness areas. 
covering more than 20k square kilometers, Takaru is the largest national park in Australia and the second largest in the world. Within its borders lie monsoon rainforests, mangrove swamps, rivers, gorges, ancient rock paintings, wetlands and waterfalls, as well as an astounding diversity of wildlife. In addition to the many mammals, reptiles and fish, more than 300 different species of birds make their home here. And both freshwater and saltwater crocodiles lurk in the wetlands. You can explore the park's diverse ecosystems by car, air, boat or on foot via the vast network of hiking trails. Number 9. Fraser Island World Heritage listed Fraser Island between Bundaberg and Brisbane of Australia's east coast is the largest sand island in the world and one of Australia's top outdoor adventures, especially for four-wheel drive enthusiasts. Along windswept 75 mile beach, you can see the rusted hulls of shipwrecks, the colored sandstone cliff of the cathedrals and the bubbling fish-filled rock pools called the Champagne Pools. The highlights include crystal clear freshwater creek and lakes, an ancient rainforest filled with an amazing diversity of plants and animals. Sharks, dolphins and whales prowl the waters and the island's fauna include wild horses, dingoes, bats, sugar gliders and more than 300 species of birds. Access to Fraser Island is by ferry from Rainbow Beach and Herve Bay. Number 8. Daintree National Park A wet tropics world heritage area, Daintree National Park in far north Queensland is among the most ancient ecosystems on Earth. The area belongs to the eastern Kuku Yulanji Aboriginal people and many of its natural features hold great spiritual significance. The park encompasses two main sections, Mos Man Gorge, the crystal clear water gush over granite boulders and cave tribulation, one of the most beautiful places to visit in Australia, where rainforests meet reef along the wide sandy beaches of the coral sea. This stunning stretch of coast is one of the few places in the world where two of the planet's rich ecosystems converge. The park's astonishing biodiversity includes more than 80,000 plant species and a vast array of animal species. Number 7. Bondi Beach Bronze bodies, blunt sand, backpackers and surf throw it all together and you get one of the world's most famous beaches. Only 15 minutes by car from the city center, Bondi Beach is home to one of the oldest surf-like savings clubs in the world. It's also a great spot for a seaside stroll or picnic. A great way to soak up the sea views is to stroll along the scenic Bondi to Bronde Coastal Walk, which begins at the southern end of the beach and follows the coastline for 6 kilometers along sandstone cliffs. Shops, cafes and restaurants lie across the street from this famous coastal strip. Other attractions around the beach include the Sunday markets, ocean pool and skate park. Take care when swimming at Bondi. Strong rip tides often sweep unsuspecting swimmers out to sea. Number 6. Melbourne Melbourne, Australia's second largest city, is a popular stop on many Australian folks, especially for cultural ventures. Galleries, theatres, restaurants, shops, and its distinctly European feel are the main draws of this sophisticated city on the Yarra River. It's also a green city with parks, gardens, and open spaces. Highlights of the city include the Royal Botanic Garden, Federation Square, the National Gallery of Victoria, and the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Where sports fans can watch cricket in the summer and Australian rules football in the winter. Number 5. Blue Mountains National Park a UNESCO World Heritage Site, beautiful Blue Mountains National Park 
lies 81 kilometers west of Sydney and is a popular day trip from the city. Named for the blue haze emanating from the many eucalyptus trees, this stunning park encompasses dramatic gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, and hiking caves. The most famous attraction in the park is the towering sandstone rock formation called the Three Sisters. Other highlights include the Katoomba Scenic Railway, the Skyway, Scenic Cableway, and Scenic Walkway, which all offer elevated views of the dense forest. Hiking, up sailing, rock climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding are all popular things to do in the park. Number 4. Sydney Harbour Bridge The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of Australia's most famous tourist attractions. Affectionately called the Kothanga, this impressive feat of construction is the largest steel arc bridge in the world. It was completed in 1932, 40 years before the Sydney Opera House. Rising 134 meters above the harbour, the bridge spans 500 meters, connecting Sydney's North Shore to the Central Business District. One of the top things to do in Sydney is a guided ascent to the top of the bridge, where you can enjoy spectacular views of the harbour and city. For an overview on the bridge's history and construction, visit the museum in Southeastern Pier. Number 3. Uluru Katsuja National Park Deep in the heart of Australia's Red Centre, Uluru is one of the most photographed natural wonders in the country. The striking red monolith forms the centerpiece of Uluru Kadatwaja National Park, a World Heritage Area jointly managed by Park Australia and the traditional landowners. Uluru, meaning the shadowy place in the local Aboriginal dialect, rises to a height of 348 meters from the surrounding plain, with most of its bulk hidden beneath the earth's surface. Also, in the park are the red dome shaped cross called the Kadadwacha. As the sun dips in the sky, sightseers gather to watch the colors of Uluru and Kadadwacha transform into shifting light. Number 2 Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. Visible from outer space, the World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef is one of the largest living structures on the planet. In 1975, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was established to protect its fragile ecosystems, which include more than 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continent islands, including the beautiful Rich Sunday Grove, 300 coral caves, and inshore mangrove islands. One of the seven wonders of the natural world, the park stretches along the state of Queensland on Australia's east coast. Diving and snorkeling are spectacular. If you prefer to stay dry, you can see the reef from underwater viewing stations and glass bottom boats on the mainland. Number 1. Sydney Opera House Mention Sydney, Australia, and most people think of the Opera House. Shaped like huge shells or belowing sails, this famous building on Sydney's Benelong Point graces the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is one of the world's greatest architectural icons. Location is stunning. Water surrounds the structure on three sides and the Royal Botanic Gardens border it to the south. Today, you can enjoy a performance here, dine at one of the restaurants or take a tour of the building which encompasses theatres, studios, a concert hall, exhibition rooms and a cinema. But it's far more impressive view from a distance. One of the best sites to photograph the Opera House is Miss Macquarie's chair in the Royal Botanic Gardens, where you can hop aboard a harbour cruise or ferry for yet another picturesque perspective.